This is your KCTV 5 News Update. The Kansas City Metro reached a grim milestone this week. 1,000 coronavirus deaths since the start of the pandemic. KCTV 5 stands for you, and we want to update you on the latest numbers and what they're showing for our area. Local health leaders say the Metro averaged 735 new daily cases last week, and that is down from more than 1,000 a day the previous week. But Thanksgiving may be a reason why we are seeing those lower numbers, as fewer people were tested and fewer labs were processing test results. Well, have you made it through all of those holiday leftovers? If you are done, the Overland Park Farmers Market will be there for you to restock one last time this season. The market will gather for the final time this year next Saturday. The community is invited to pick through some locally grown produce just outside of the Matt Ross Community Center. It's happening from 8 to noon next Saturday. Good morning, I'm Bill Hurlbrink with your Sunday morning weather update. Big changes in store for us because of a cold front that's headed through the area here later this morning. Once it arrives behind it, it's going to come some pretty gusty winds, 15 to 20 mile an hour, and then gusting up to about 35 miles an hour as we go through today. Expect a high temperature around 46 degrees by 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon. Clouds move out, which then sets the stage for a pretty chilly overnight low of 26 degrees. Later this week, expecting sunny skies on Monday and Tuesday. Next chance of rain rain comes Wednesday into Thursday's temperatures closer to normal though in the 40s and upper 30s. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.